Okay, so today we're going to try and be saving these iPod classics. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello! Seven screws, one plate. Okay, so this is an iPod classic. For my younger audience, this is what Apple used to make before they suddenly started making iPhones. An iPod. A phone. Are you getting it? And the iPod Classic was the first iPod that they used to make. This, of course, is, was, is the last one that they used to make. Uh, this, uh, this is, I think, a seventh generation. Uh, I have another one here, which is a uh, sixth generation. And uh, somebody went and gave me these uh, in an attempt to uh, refurbish them instead of just like erasing them and and go going that way uh, because this is quite an old uh, device what better way of upgrading all the parts inside so that it will carry on going for uh, another decade who knows okay. inside an iPod classic is this little 1.8 inch hard drive which if you compare this to the hard drives that you have in your desktop and your uh, laptop computers is what you'd find in an old desktop computer this is a three inch hard disk drive okay inside most laptops you find a two and a half inch hard disk drive and inside a iPod Classic you find a 1.8 inch hard disk drive. Cute but no. Apparently the reason why Apple stopped making the iPod Classic is that Toshiba stopped making these drives. Well that's what I believe anyway. So we'll be replacing this with something more solid state. So inside of every iPod Classic, you of course have the front screen and dial. You have the rear case over here. You have your hard disk drive. And of course, you have your battery. Now, because these are very old, we are basically going to get rid of the hard disk drive. Okay, and we're going to replace it with something a little more up to date basically basically this thing okay this is made by a company called iFlash and it enables you to put an SD card into the iPod Classic to replace your hard disk drive a vast improvement improves stability uh, Basically, because that's good, because the hard drive has got moving parts, it, it skips if you drop it. Anyway, so there is a, uh, a, a great improvement. Okay, and to go with it, we are adding a an Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte SD card. It's one of the ones they recommend, and I always prefer using SanDisk as they're a reliable brand. And finally, the last piece, the battery. Now the battery in this one, when I took it out, was starting to get a bit puffy, which is never a good sign when it comes to lithium batteries. So again, we went and went out and we got a replacement, which again, as you can see, is nice and thin. So we're now gonna go and put all this back together again and see what happens when we plug it into the Mac. And when we have finished, we will give the rear, uh, the aluminium rear of these uh, iPods a spruce up to try and make them look like they haven't spent the uh, best part of a decade. Let us begin. Twenty minutes later.
I think you'll agree that although not perfect, these look amazing. And all it took was about 10 minutes of hand polishing. Once we've attached the, the two cases together with this little ribbon cable, we're now going to go and install we're now going to go and install this uh, iFlash Solo. The company who actually make these make many different models depending on what sort of storage you want to use. In this case I'm going with an SD card which I just thought was easiest. And once again Mr. Shaky Hands here is uh, it's not doing very well. Let's try that again. I really can't stand, even on the best day, these little ZIF connectors. Anyway, that is secured in. I'm going to shut that down, like so. Of course, with our SD card. That clicks in very nicely there, which again is good. With this card, I want to make sure that it slides in below this point just here. Again, so this is all secure. And finally, for when I shut this up, they recommend putting a foam pad. And again, just makes everything be a bit more compressed. What is, well, the only thing that we have left to do now is to install the new battery. And of course, we install the battery like so. I'm going to actually go and need to go and put some adhesive on here. However, for an, our initial tests, um, uh, we will not need adhesive. Okay, and so if I was to just go and turn this over, just go and install the battery connector. Can I push that down to lock it into place? And before I put the case all back together again, we need to make sure that, of course, it boots up and we can connect it to, to the Mac. Uh, so let, let us let us have a, a very uh, quick look just now and see if uh, and of course immediately it comes up and says use iTunes to restore so that is what we are now going to go and do so I've connected it to the computer even running Big Sur opened up iTunes it recognized it it says do not disconnect which is I think a good sign, but now we're going to see how this goes and downloads the latest firmware. Eventually. Uh, it just comes down to ask how much this all cost. Uh, basically, the uh, the new the new card that replaced the hard disk drive came to uh, thirty eight point uh, four euros. Uh, the one hundred twenty eight gigabyte SD card um, came to twenty nine euros fifty cents. Uh, the new battery was fourteen euros and ninety cents, and the aluminium polish was seven euros, which comes all comes just in under under ninety euros in total. Which you know what, I think that's an excellent value. Yeah. Um, the only part I didn't show you, and, and of course I. There are other things to show you. Is that basically get the uh, bottom and the fr front apart is a very time-consuming process. Okay, 
I've, I've actually I've done this with two machines and the first machine that I did it with took forever and it was just being super gentle and slowly slowly working out the clips the second one I did I knew roughly what I was doing so once you've got it open you should have it no problem whatsoever and there you have it new life into a, a beautiful old iPod classic uh, if you have any questions uh, comment section is down below uh, if you enjoyed this video click the like button want to see more videos like this click the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video ciao